ways to survive Miss Carson's class. Do your homework. It doesn't matter if it's wrong or right. Just do it. Don't get on her bad side, because if you do, she'll be mad the whole day. Mm -hmm. um, if you can't handle sarcasm, why are you in her class? Because Miss Carson is really sarcastic. So, yeah. All right, my number one is come to class. Okay, so you can't expect to survive a class that you just don't show up to. You got to remember that there is a participation grade and not just homework. Um, my number two is complete all your work, and I guarantee you'll get at least a 60%. That's what that's some advice that Miss Carson gave to me. Um, and time management. So you want to make sure you put time in your schedule to do your homework. Okay, next is surviving Crossland. Mm. So I said, don't get caught in the drama and focus on whatever work needs to be done in your classes. You want to also be involved with your school. So that's like any community service or clubs that the school is doing like band or college summit, like I'm a peer leader. And then I said, don't allow yourself to be distracted by friends. That's very important because you may have friends that like to skip or just go have fun. Number one, stay out of the hallways. There's always hall sweeps, like every period. So be, on be in class on time. Wear, wear the right uniform. Half the people at Crossing get suspended for wearing the wrong uniform. Like just wear, just wear a shirt like the same shirt every day. You don't have to, huh? I say it's a dumb reason, but you know. Oh, don't like if you wear the same shirt every day, you don't have to plan your outfit. Like, it's saving you time. Um, uh, don't hang out with the wrong crowd. I know a lot of people from Crossing that went from having good grades to just not graduating just because they were hanging out with the wrong people. Three ways to plan for your future. So I said, first you have to know what you what you want for yourself. So like, mm -hmm. how do you want to live in the future? Do you want like three cars? Do you want a house? Or do you want to just live in an apartment? And then I said, never doubt yourself or your dream career because some students choose not to create a plan at all. So they end up doing like nothing. Um, and another tip is Look into the classes that are offered at Crossland. That's another one because I didn't even know about certain Votech programs. So mm -hmm. that could actually help you with your career. Like if you want to do IT, they'll teach you all the steps that you need to know to get into that career. Okay. My first reason is don't let other teachers or counselors tell you what classes or what to do, because especially if it doesn't, it doesn't have anything to do with the with the career that you want to do. So I had to take, I took classes that I didn't, I don't need for my career. I took engineering and failed it. I don't need it for my career. And that affects your GPA and your transcript. It can drop your GPA down. And next thing you know, you might not get into the college that you want to go to. Um, research the careers that you want to, that you want to do, that you want to pursue with after, after school. And make sure you want to do it because you're going to be doing it for your whole life. And... And make sure you research the college that is best for your career. Because some colleges, you might want to go to a college for a part, for the social part of it. But next thing you know, they don't have your major. So what's your purpose of going to college? Next thing you know, you're in debt with your loans. And you just wasted your time there. And you got kicked out. So. Yeah. All right. So that's our tips for surviving Crossland and Miss Carson and how to plan for your future. My post-secondary goal is to go to college and study geology so I can become an environmental geologist. But I think it will My post-secondary like goal is to go to college and study music or, or pre-vet, depending on the college. Okay. <laughs>